President Trump arrived in Vietnam today to hold his second summit meeting with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Trump and Kim are scheduled to have a private dinner tomorrow night. They'll then sit down for official meetings on Thursday, with the main topics of discussion expected to be denuclearization and the prospect of closer relations between the two countries. Trump announced plans for the summit earlier this month during his second State of the Union address. As part of a and Kim Dion hee will be watching every twist and turn of the negotiations. Kim left Pyongyang eight years ago, and she's never been back since. Nowadays, she spends a lot of her time in Seoul with other North Koreans, in a house funded by an organization that advocates for their political cause. That cause is a pretty unusual one. Unlike most of the 30,000 North Koreans living in the South, the people in this house want to go back. Actually, Kim says she never wanted to live in South Korea in the first place. Kim says her story is different. In Pyongyang, she led a relatively privileged life and was allowed to have a passport. So when she was diagnosed with a potentially fatal liver condition, she traveled to China, thinking treatment would be better there only to find out that she couldn't afford to pay for it. Then, a smuggler offered to sneak her into South Korea to make some money. She was told she could go back home whenever she wanted. That turned out to be a lie. So right now, do you feel stuck here in South Korea? <laughs> How old is she now? Kim can't go back home because South Korean law mandates that any North Korean who crosses the border must become a citizen. And South Korean citizens can't even visit the North without government permission. Kim has become the public face of this legal quandary, and she regularly attends protests to have the law changed. Kim Jong Un is coming, then we have to go. Is it going to be okay? 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 trying to bring your family from North Korea here, so you can live with them here? That discrimination has made it difficult for Kim to hold a job. So she's turned her strange situation into a profession. Most South Koreans don't know much about the North. Kim writes and gives lectures on what life is like back home. What did you think about what Ms. Kim had to say? Do you think she should be able to go back? <laughs> Kim's rose-colored view of the North often surprises her audience. Because by most accounts, North Korea is the site of egregious abuses of human rights. 
myself, I've spoken to people who fled from North Korea and the things they've told me are horrific. And are you saying these things aren't happening? 이 땅에서 탈북자들이 살아남자면 무조건 북을 비난하고 북은 사람 못살 세상 나쁜 나라예요 하는 말을 해야만이 완전하게 살수 있지 탈북자들이 완전한 진실을 말한다면 그 사람들은 감옥 가야 되는 길인데 탈북자 중에서도 북에서 어떤 잘못된 어떤 아픈 추억을 가지고 있는 사람들도 혹시 있을 수 있어요 그렇다고 해서 90%가 순금인데 10%의 불순물이 섞겠다고 해서 그게 궁이 아니라고 평가할 수는 없어요 I think there's a lot of people who would listen to what you're saying that you want to go back to North Korea and say, this person's been brainwashed. What would you say to that? But when I went to the West, I think that the people who are really bad people are the people who are not bad people. How do you think the world is going to go like this, and the people who are all the world, how do you think the world is going to go like this? I think that the world is going to go like this. I think that the world is going to go like this. Kim's only real hope at the moment is that Trump will reach a deal that will let her go back. Yeah.